Hi everyone, I am Saloni and welcome back to our channel Codera. So guys, in the last video, we discussed top 22 technical interview question of Wipro for non-CS and IT student. So if you didn't watch that video yet, so please watch that video and the video link is in the description box. So in today's video, we will discuss top 12 HR and behavior based question. So let's start the video. So the first question from the HR section is tell me about yourself. So guys, this question is very common and I have discussed it many time in my previous videos. So you can watch that videos for this question. So now our next question is why should we hire you? So basically here you have to represent your skill. So you can mention your technical skills and other skill which match with the job description. Like you can talk about your time and stress management skills. And here you can also mention your achievements. So ultimately you have to make them realize that you are the candidate who can fulfill their requirements. So let's see our next question which is are you aware about our service agreement? So if you are aware about the company's service agreement then you can say yes. Otherwise you can say no. So if you will say no then they will explain you their complete service agreement. And as per I know, Wipro has the service agreement of one year and if you will break the agreement, then you have to pay 75,000 rupees. So our next question is, what do you know about the Wipro? Or instead of this question, they may ask you some company related question like, who is the CEO of the Wipro? Or do you know on which technology our company is working? Or they may ask you some question like, do you know that what type of solution our company provides? So be prepared for this type of questions. Now moving towards our next question which is, what are your strengths? So mention your strength which are related to the job profile. Or somehow your strength is beneficial for the company's growth. For example, you can, you can tell them team player, adaptable, quick learner as your strength. And you also have to give them some example to show that how you use your strength to achieve your goals. For example, if your strength is a team player, so you can say like in our college, we organize a blood donation camp and I was a team member of that camp. So me and our team member worked for one week and organized the camp. As a result, our camp was a great success. So in this way, you can give some example to show the interviewer that how you use your strength to achieve some goals. So now our next question is, are you a team player? So here interviewer is trying to know that whether you are able to collaborate and work well with others or not. So to answer this question, you can say like, I definitely considered myself as a team player. And I also believe that every great result is a teamwork. So guys, after this, you have to add one example where you act as a team player. So you can add the previous example of blood donation camp or here is one more example, which is I was a team member of coding club and in my college phase, we organized many coding events like code debugging and hour of code. There I was an event coordinator and these events taught me some valuable skills like communication, time management and public speaking. So guys, this is the example answer. Here you can change the event type and name according to your choice. So our next question is, can you work under pressure or stress? So the intention behind asking this question is that the interviewer wants to get a better idea of how you handle various stressful situation at work. So here you have to answer appropriately. You can't say like, I never get stressed. After all, everyone feels stress at one time or another at work. So to answer this question, you have to provide any specific example of how you have handled stress well in the past. So while answering this question, you should keep this point in your mind. Like how stress motivates you and show them that you can manage multiple tasks at a time and try to focus on the positive action. And you can also mention the skill that you have learned while working under the pressure, like time management. And in last, you can mention your goals and the results. So here is one example. I have found that a healthy amount of stress motivates me to stay on the track and work as efficiently and effectively as possible. For me, deadlines are important. For example, 
college or school exams so at the time of exam i study much better before one day of the exam because when i am under a pressure i use my time management skills to get the task done so this is how you can give your answer now let's see our next question which is are you willing to work overtime or nights or weekends so the interviewer asked this question for variety of reasons like they may like to know about your time management skills or maybe they want to know that you are willing to work for long hours if required so here you have to answer very carefully so you can say like yes i am willing to work overtime because i understand that in it industry we will have deadlines and monthly targets to complete and no doubt i will manage to handle my work during standard working hours and if i am working on a particular important or difficult project or on a project with tight deadline then in such case i don't mind staying overnight or working weekends so this is how you can answer this question so our next question is why do you want to join wipro or why wipro so i would suggest you that before the interview of any company you must have the knowledge about the company like what actually the company do or who is the ceo of that company and so on so here in this question you can mention about the good qualities of that company like about you can talk about the work culture of the company and mention those things which make the company different from the others so basically here you have to praise the organization so now our next question is would you be willing to relocate if required so its answer is completely depend on you its answer may be yes or no but here i would suggest you to say yes because every company wants the employee who is flexible who can relocate according to the company's need so if your answer is yes so you can say like yes i am very excited about this opportunity to use my skills and i love to visit different cities and to meet new people so i am definitely open to relocate and suppose if you will say no in answer of this question then the interviewer may think that you are very particular about the job location so in case of this situation instead of directly saying no you should say like i do love living in indore and would prefer to stay here however for the right opportunity i would be willing to consider relocating if necessary so this is how you can answer this question so our last question from the hr section is do you have any question for me so guys don't miss this opportunity because most of the candidates say no i don't have any question but you should ask question because it shows that you cares about the organization so you can ask one or two question that are focused on the organization so you can ask like what are the goal the company has for the next year so it shows that you are planning to work for a long time with the firm or you can ask the question related to your job role so you can ask if i selected for the role then what could i do in this role to help you achieve your vision it shows that you are really interested in joining the company so this is how you can answer this question now our first question based on behavior is if you and your partner work together on a project and he oppose your opinion on that case what should you do so interviewer asks such type of questions to evaluate that how you respond to and resolve conflict in workplace so to answer this question you can say like in such type of conflict situation i try to keep myself calm and also listen to the other person's point of view without becoming defensive like in our college project we all decided who will going to demonstrate the working of the project but one of our team member get offended because he wants to demonstrate so to resolve this conflict i propose a solution that we should shoot a video where both the members will demonstrate the project working one by one then after the comparison we will decide who will get this job so in this way we resolve this conflict so guys this is how you can answer this question so our last question is what are the top 3 qualities a team leader must possess so you can mention any three qualities of the leadership like problem solving decision making and patience so guys that's all about today's video i hope you will like this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much for watching